Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? Remy Sovereign here. Back with a new video today, and in today's new video, I wanted to stay on the topic of lower back surgery, but specifically talk about a type of surgery known as spinal fusion surgery. Now, the reason I want to talk about spinal fusion surgery is because I recently stumbled upon a Facebook group in which it was a lower back pain community and support group. And in the Facebook group, there was an individual who shared their story about spinal fusion surgery that they had done. And so upon sharing their story, others then chimed in and shared their story as well. And so myself, I kind of read through everyone's story and was reading through their experiences. And it was pretty eye-opening to kind of hear their experiences because it was pretty horrific to what these individuals had to go through or are currently going through because a lot of those individuals were either still in pain or they have had multiple complications and maybe additional surgeries they had done which just did not sound good at all and it just sounded like a horrible experience. And so now I made this video because I just wanted to share some information regarding spinal fusion surgery that I want you guys to know and to understand. So when it comes to spinal fusion surgery, understand that what ends up happening essentially is that if we have our vertebrae here, which could be represented by my uh, hand here, and then if we take a spinal disc, let's say represents the calculator, and then we take our next segment or above vertebrae to represent the above portion. So in spinal fusion, what essentially what would happen is that we would remove the disc or the surgeon may remove the disc and then they would fuse the vertebrae together, whether that's through some sort of metal implants or maybe they're taking bone from a different body part or body area and then placing it in between and then putting metal implants in to allow over time that fusion to occur. But the idea is to kind of create stability there. But what ends up happening is that when we remove a spinal disc, keep in mind our spinal discs are shock absorbers. So when we remove that, somewhere else needs to absorb the shock. So the above and below segments now are now going to take a beating because we have removed that disc. So when we think of the above and below area, you can just think of our facet joints that are now going to take a beating and they're going to be more susceptible to becoming arthritic over time. And so that's more of the long-term implications if we look at spinal fusion surgery, and that can be problematic for a lot of people down the road because it could lead to new issues and new pain developing. So that's something one would want to consider with spinal fusion, and probably a lot of people don't know about that or aren't kind of familiar with that. But I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Now, there's also the other complications with regards to it being invasive, so you never know if an infection can develop. Also, you have to consider the skill set of the surgeon. Depending on the skill set, you never know what could happen because maybe if they're not really that skilled when it comes to maybe doing the surgery, they could hit a nerve and cause permanent damage. But then there's also some of the implications that can occur after the initial surgery is done with regards to maybe the metal implants that have been inserted. They can maybe dissolve or erode, which may lead to a new surgery needing to be performed to remove those implants and put new ones in. But there could be other complications as a result of that. Maybe the fusion isn't occurring as it is supposed to occur. There could be some sort of physiological issues going on because of that. Hard to really say, but there's a lot that could go wrong. But I just wanted to share that with you guys with regards to specifically the long-term implications that may occur with regards to maybe arthritis developing at the above and below segments of your facet joints. So those facet joints may take a beating because that disc has been removed and now that force needs to be absorbed somewhere else. And so I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys as some little information if you do not know what that about spinal fusion surgery. Now, if you're someone that has had spinal fusion surgery done, I would love to kind of hear about your experience with it. If it's helped you, maybe if it's been a nightmare for you, maybe you're still in pain, maybe you're pain free. I'd love to kind of know what your experience is, how it went for you. Or maybe if you're someone that was recommended to get spinal fusion surgery done and you didn't really know what maybe some of the implications as a result of that, or maybe some of the side effects that may occur, I'd love to kind of just hear what your thoughts are with regards to that as well. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, I wish you guys all the best and a successful and productive day and take care.